Hello everybody, it's Friday, it's 2 o'clock, that means it's time for the Gazette Radio Hour with Doug and John. It's the Radio Digest version of the Santa Clarita Gazette and Free Classifieds for all you need to know to be in the know. Most importantly, we're on Santa Clarita's hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. John. Hey, can you do me a favor and just say, it's time for Dodger Baseball? Because <laughs> the way you come in, it's like, hello, everybody. <laughs> it's time. Almost Keith Jackson yep. versus Ross Porter versus... Yeah, it's close. It's Alabama. Alabama. Humble. Hello, everybody. <laughs> so, what's going on, Doug? You, you oh, doing man, right? I'm, oh, I'm anxious. Oh, oh, geez. Geez. Hey, that. did you hear about... You know, we got out of Iraq as quick as we could, right? Because our president didn't want us hanging around. Yeah. And we, we just left 2,300. Not 23. Not 1,300. 2,300 Humvees there. You know how expensive those things are? And guess who has them now? <laughs> okay, I just, ISIS has them. I just got this mental picture of come to, come to Sheikh Ali's Humvee used car lot. <laughs> we sell you used car. That's about what happened. Use Humvee cheap. <laughs> Trade in your camel. <laughs> Very cheap. They didn't pay a dime. Because That's the Iraqi troops turned and ran and left all the Humvees there, and ISIS has them all. Plus, they left thousands of machine guns inside the Humvees. Oh, jeez. You know, don't we don't we think this stuff through? Yeah. Seems we don't, we don't, we don't think this stuff through. And then Hillary. How about Hillary? She's driving Has she asked a the question wall. yet? Oh, no. Has she answered a question? No, but yesterday she said the Republicans are dividing America because our whole goal right now is to keep young people from voting. That's our main priority in this country, Republicans, is keeping young people from voting. Are you sure you got that sentence right? Because I think it's keeping young people from voting for her. Well, she might. I don't think she said that. Ah, okay. Isn't that a job of an election? And you know what else is driving me nuts? There's a lot of things driving me nuts. You know how, have you been reading about the inner city shootings and killings? They're skyrocketing. New York, L.A., Chicago, Chicago's a war zone. Chicago's a war zone. Yeah. Okay, why, okay when, when one policeman does something wrong, and I'm not saying it's right to a black kid or something, the president talks about it. He hasn't said one word about these hundreds and hundreds of shooting in the inner city. But, Doug, you know, maybe you're, look, you're looking at the big picture. Yeah? Hey, look it's at the picture that's bugging me right uh, now. What else you got? I mean, uh, I could go on forever. Uh, you got the debt. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, don't bring the debt up. It's going to hit 19 trillion before he's out of office. Then how do you stop it? What do you do? We got to change something. We got to change everybody. Everybody's got to change. You sound like me last week. You know, I mean, I know. Uh, the I whole know. rant. Uh, I know. It's it's it's, I know. it's over. I know. Maybe maybe the answer is is I got it. I got this. I can I can fix this for you. Ask you the the, the, the typical age old question: How do you eat an elephant? One uh, bite at a time. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh huh. So instead of instead of looking big national, n- nationwide, worldwide issues, because there's so many of them. Right. Maybe we should just take our own little corner of the world and make changes here. Oh, my happy place. Your happy place, Santa Clarita. How? C- what's wrong in Santa Clarita? I mean, after all, it can't be that bad. Well, let's see. Uh oh. I live. I'm afraid I, I shouldn't. Five have asked. Mi- six miles from my house. Yeah. And today, no, yes. Well, no, you 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 it, work six miles from my house. You live. Yeah, whatever. really close to your house. Yeah, it took me <laughs> twenty minutes to get to work. Hello, Do you, so you didn't hit all the traffic lights? <laughs> <laughs> they weren't timed, and there was a bunch of traffic backed up at the traffic light. It took me uh, uh, eight uh, minutes uh, to get through uh, San um, Soledad and Sierra Highway. Is it always that bad? Not always, but at times it at is. At times, uh, well, especially going home. So we've got, we've got, we've got. Okay, we've got small traffic issues. You know, it, and it, what about my grass? It's all brown because I can't water. So we're back to the drought thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There is a drought. There's a drought. But you know, at least we don't have twenty three hundred Humvees driving around in the hands of terrorists, right? In Kenya country, at least. That's true. And maybe in Valencia, but not in Kenya country. <laughs> okay. So, so, so we're see, the awesome. See, town. we're making. We're, oh, now you just did the whole east side <laughs> west side thing, right? I get that. But but see, it, okay. So we make small, tiny little changes in our own little corner of the world. Okay. Wow. I sound like I'm like. Greenpeace or something. <laughs> you affect your own Mr. little environment. Rogers. I know. This is and your name's Rogers. I know. Uh, Can we all be friends? <laughs> no, there's got to be. I mean, there are issues here, but there, aren't they solvable issues? I mean, for the most part. Well, yeah, the traffic thing is going to be yeah, a problem. Yeah, um, because the governor uh, using trillions of gallons of water to, to help 28. And then, f- yeah, and then to, 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 to once, yeah, okay. That, and that the doesn't. high-speed bullet train that's going to go through my neighborhood, that's no big deal. Yeah, you're, oh, geez, okay. And then, uh, you know, what are we going to do with all the traffic issues? Let's just build more houses. Good point. Yeah, you know, I'm a quandary on that one, though, because I think some growth is good for the economy. But growth without 
infrastructure is a disaster. Yes. Conjure. Okay. I mean, you're you're doing. Uh, they they finally got around to finally touching the the intersection of of the 14 and Golden Valley. You know how miserable that has been for so long. Yes. Yes. And they finally get around to fixing it. D do developers think about these things? I don't know. They have to, don't they? With all the rules and regulations think, that we have. Think, but 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 they're, are they, or are they more concerned with the snail darter? You know, the environmental concerns. I don't. Think what about the, the humanistic concerns? Know. That's it. We need to start a humanistic movement. Stop worrying about the snail darter. Stop worrying about the, the steelhead trout. Yeah, and the salmon. Start worrying about humans. Yeah. That humans. You know, yeah. we should get a developer on. All right. All right. All right. We're going to do that. Can we we're do gonna it get this it, quick? Yeah, we got to do it this. off. Uh, you got your phone ready? Go. Okay. All right. You're listening to the Gazette Radio with Doug and John on AM 1220 KHS, Santa Cruz Hometown Station. We'll be right back. We're back, everybody, on Santa Cruz Hometown Station, AM 1220 KHTS. It's the Gazette Radio Hour with Doug and John. John, we finished the last segment, kind of segueing into development, and you asked me to get a developer on the phone. Yeah, and you Voila. did it here. Voila. Yeah. Voila. We you have did with that, us Mr. Jim Backer from JSB Development, correct? Yes, sir. All right. Hey, Jim, you got a big development coming in Canyon Country, right? Yes. Yeah, that would be Vista Canyon. Correct. All right. Um, as a developer, uh, how <laughs> we, were just, we were talking before you came on, we were talking about the infrastructure. Is that something you guys actually take a look at when you come up with these projects? That is uh, very critical to what we look at, yes. Uh, not only for the infrastructure that we need to build on site for our project, but uh, any infrastructure we might be asked to do to mitigate our project uh, elsewhere. And uh, Doug lives up in that area, so he's got to be concerned about traffic, right, Doug? Uh, yeah. But I think uh, Mr. Backer might have a solution to that problem. Oh. Well, one of the one of the key things, um, you know, for those of you who don't know, we we looked at this project uh, over ten years ago and started working on it in in earnest, uh, really in the the fall of uh, '05, and we began with a series of community meetings that went to uh, major stakeholders uh, on the east side of town and throughout the community and went back to a lot of these people uh, multiple times. And one of the things that came out very clearly is uh, where they would accept traffic and where they really didn't want traffic. Right. And so our concept was focused on how to absorb the project, uh, you know, traffic uh, into existing streets and also how to, to add new things that might be uh, ways to uh, not only provide better access to the site but make sure that we weren't impacting other areas. And right. so one example of that is uh, we're building a bridge across the Santa Clara River uh, connecting to an existing underpass that was built when the 14 was constructed uh, decades ago. Right. And that gives us direct access to Soledad, uh, and therefore we don't have to always go back to Sand Canyon Perfect. to get to Soledad. It also gives us a more direct route to the on and off ramps of Sand Canyon. Um, the the original plans years ago called for the Lost Canyon Road link coming from Fair Oaks Ranch and Via Princesa to be a, a six lane wide road and right. take that six lanes going all the way east and right in front of Sulphur Springs Elementary School and leading up to Sand Canyon and as you can tell that probably wasn't a real popular concept. Yeah, I can uh, imagine. <laughs> kind of like the so bullet that, train. That's down to a two lane <laughs> road at the east end. Okay. All right. So you take that stuff into consideration. Sure. Hey, Jim, when I'm around town and whenever you small talk with somebody and they talk about development, they always go, what about the drought? What about the water? How is these, all these houses and new buildings going to have water? How do you answer that as far as Vista Canyon goes? Well, uh, we have a pretty unique project because uh, we are building a water reclamation plant on our site that's being funded by our project. And... The plant, when it's completed, will create more water on an annual basis than we will use. Wow! Wow! So we're we're a net zero add to the water supply requirements uh, that the CLWA um, would have. Right. Uh, obviously, the plant would not be in operation, uh, you know, when we start the project, but before the first flush happens on any of our developed projects, that plant will be in place and. The reason that it'll be able to be in place on the first flush is we're taking some existing sewer 
capacity that currently crosses the river in, uh, let's say, fairly old and dilapidated pipe and, <laughs> and, uh, taking that, uh, that sewage, uh, down, uh, you know, through our site and connected to the water reclamation plant and the other sewer services that we're going to provide. Great. Hey, give us a quick little update. Did you finish all the environmental stuff? Because that was, we were joking about that earlier that, you know, we're going to start a humanistic movement instead of an environmental movement. <laughs> forget, forget the we, snail daughters. Let's uh, yeah, think about we were people. In May of 2011, sued in June of 2011. That's and, typical. Uh, to cut to the chase, in December of last year, we won uh, our case at the appellate level, and that uh, essentially ended the, uh, the the contest after three and a half years. And our project, uh, EIR, was then uh, you know released um, for development. Awesome. So uh, breaking ground. Soon? That is going to happen, uh, we hope, uh, in the next month or so. Wow. That's exciting. Impressive. That's exciting. Hey, Jim, how would you answer, going back to the water and development, other than your um, project, how would you answer the skeptics as far as all the building that's going on and the, the water demand? Well, I would say that for the most part, you know, water, um, is as bad as the drought has been, and, and we certainly recognize that, uh, you know, water is a seasonal thing. Um, people sometimes act like, uh, well, we've got a drought. This is going to be the way it's going to be forever, and uh, therefore we shouldn't have any more development. Uh, you know, my view is that in the long term, we will get rain again. Um, the water will come back. Uh, I'm hoping that all of us uh, are looking at ways to use our water more smartly uh, and, uh, and more wisely and conserving more of it than we're probably used to doing uh, in the past. But I, I think to say that we should just stop development until the, the drought is over, uh, first of all, the water agencies have the capacity to provide the water uh, as of right now. Right. Um, I think if you know we're trying to add you know 10,000 homes in the next three years, I, I don't think that's going to happen until the water probably balances out a little bit. But I think I believe that the state of California has an amazing aqueduct uh, state water project, and you know, I think it should be uh, allowed to continue to flourish and not continue to be handicapped by new laws and regulations that yeah. didn't exist in 1960, right. and many of which are designed to stop the transport of water. So, um, you know, I know that sounds like a pro-development answer, but I'm a, I'm a believer that we're either living or dying as a community. There's no, there's no such thing as staying put. Right. Yeah, but I think, I think, uh, it, and probably even you would agree with a, with a responsible approach. Not so much necessarily with the water, because I agree with you. It's seasonal. I mean, as soon as it starts to rain, people will be like complaining about floods or something. So, yeah. it's, you know, <laughs> you're, nobody's ever going to be happy. Of California. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. We got riots, fires, and mudslides. But it, it seems like it's it's a responsible approach, which takes into consideration infrastructure and needs of the community that I'm not sure everybody has. I, I think your project is perfect, a perfect example of exactly what this community needs combined with somebody who's paying attention to the infrastructure. I, I, are you confident that some of these other projects that you hear about coming down the pike are going to have the same attention to detail? Well, you know, I I think um, Newhall Ranch has a lot of the things that that we're doing. Um, if they're ever allowed to build it, yeah. uh, you know, they have even more significant uh, plans. I think um, maybe than, than we do on on their plant. Um, but again, I I think you know what what usually happens is the the small guys kind of are allowed to keep going, and then the big guys get stuck with the solutions and i think that everyone that i'm talking to in the community you know whether it's at the chamber or the city uh is certainly aware that we need to do more to capture the runoff i mean right now we have significant runoff from the uh plant on the old road oh, and right. you know that water would certainly be available to, to newhall land and, and newhall ranch uh, it's in the right place. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's uh, you know it's right there, and so I think you know. In my suspicion is they're they're making plans to to take advantage of that, and I think when you have a situation that we have now, people are more open minded and and more 
creative about taking advantage of those things. When the water's just flowing, it's like, oh, it's there. I guess I don't have to worry about it. So I think we probably need to stay more vigilant long term than we have in the past. All right, Jim, we want to thank you for coming on. We're up against the clock. All right, no worries. T- talking to Jim Backer, president of JSB Development, and hopefully soon to break ground. We're all waiting. Vista That's Canyon. Exciting. So anyway, Jim, uh, we'd like to have you on in the course of uh, how this thing gets going. Would that work for you? That'd be great. All right. Sounds Love great. All right. Thanks, Jim. Thank you. All, All right. right. Take care. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Too. Hey, you know what we can do is we can go to happy hour there sometime. Well, we'll talk happy hours later. All right. <laughs> you're listening to the Gazette Radio with Doug and John on AM 1220 KHS. Santa Clara's hometown station. We will be right back.